<laughs> These cat videos. Does nothing remain private online anymore? It doesn't matter if you're out and about on your phone or laptop. Your personal information can form a digital trail and leave just about everywhere you go online. And every little block of personal information is helping internet spies monitor you to build a virtual profile of you. Oh, Taller del Consumidor. Oh, what a cute puppy. Ah, oh, my new favorite jazz band. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Oh, hey, Thomas, how are you? I'm pretty good, but I noticed you're leaving a lot of your data lying around. Oh, yeah, that's the way the internet works. I mean, there's really nothing you can do. Is there? Well, there are a couple things you can do to protect your privacy. Here, come on, let me show you. Thomas Germain is a privacy and tech editor at Consumer Reports, and he says consumers should take advantage of technology, not the other way around. <laughs> High school mascot. Love it. You see, this is what I was trying to warn you about, right? So there's these companies, and they're looking for people like you who are just leaving all of their personal information all over the internet. Address. Just what I suspected. And they build a profile of you, your interests, what you're like, what your family members are like, and they often use it to show you ads for products that match your interests or ones that you may have already searched for or looked at. Dogs, well, man's best friend. Yeah, so what do I do about it? Well, you can use privacy settings on a lot of websites, like social media services and even some search engines, and you can go through and just flip off each one of these settings. Companies will have a harder time tracking where you go in the physical world if you turn off location information. When you turn off search activity, companies say they'll collect less information about what you search for online. And by turning off personalized ads on some services, you can place limits on the ways they use your online activity for targeted advertising. So is there anything else we can do to protect our privacy online? Well, I think maybe the most important thing is to just adopt a more privacy-focused attitude. So when you're going online, just remember that the things that you share, the stuff that you watch, there are people who are keeping tabs on it. So think twice before you post things like your phone number or your address and assume that everything you share on social media is public. So if you just come to that experience with privacy in mind, you'll help protect yourself. Thomas, this was such useful information and I feel so much more confident about my online privacy. Jack, that's really great to hear. It's, it's my pleasure, but you know, there's still one more thing we have to take care of. Excuse me, these do not belong to you. <sighs> but I was building an online profile. Not anymore. Fine. Enjoy your online privacy. Well done. Hey, you like soap operas too? Doesn't everybody? 